Thanks for joining us. I'm Isis Romero. The Bear County DA's office is changing its plan to prosecute drunk drivers. Prosecutors will now accept fewer plea bargains for first time DWI offenders under certain circumstances. The goal is to stop them from repeating their mistakes. Ken's five reporter Troy Kless shares why the office is making the change. We still have a DWI problem. Christian Hendrickson is the first assistant district attorney. He says since 2009, the DA's office had a policy that some first time DWI offenders would plea down to an obstruction of a highway charge. The San Antonio Express News did a deep dive and found that policy was so, used um, loosely. About a quarter of the people who were getting obstruction pleas had a blood alcohol concentration over 0.15, which shouldn't happen. Now, the DA will only offer obstruction if your BAC was below 0.15, if you're a first-time offender, and if there wasn't an accident. That is what was supposed to be happening for the most part, but there were exceptions that were allowed, um, and those exceptions were being used much more broadly than I think anybody um, had anticipated. Natalie Paulus with Mothers Against Drunk Driving sharing her thoughts on the change in policy. We want to ensure that all offenders, all alleged offenders um, are held accountable for their actions. The reason why obstruction, a misdemeanor, may be offered is to avoid the stigma of a DWI charge. But Henriksen says less than 10% of people who pled to obstruction would reoffend, compared to 13% recidivism for DWI. The goal of this policy change to keep drunk drivers off the roads. We have seen uh, over the last 10 years or so a reduction in the number of DWI cases in Bear County, but we're still way too high. So um, if people make that decision, they're going to be held accountable. Troy Kless, Ken's Five. Taking a look at the number of DWI bookings over the last few years from December 24th of last year to January 1st of this year, there were 141 DWI bookings. The same time last year, 139 bookings. And the year before that, again, December 24th, 2020 to December or to January 1st, 2021, there were 146 DWI bookings. Texas lawmakers will